So this is what we, I'm training you on this video is uh, following journey one, which will be on the first day. Uh, we do the four fields. We fill out all the information. And then um, after the journey one, we want to take some time. In fact, I'm going to flip my camera here onto my uh, uh, document camera. And so we've just finished. This will all be filled out. We've just gone through journey one. And now what we want to do is we want to focus in on field one and field two, which is entry and gospel. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we want to talk about the barriers to entering into lostness and then the barriers of entering into the gospel. Uh, and so after this, what we want them to do um, is just put this to the side just for a minute. And um, I'm going to pull a sheet of paper and just kind of walk through what we do, because we're going to do three things at this point coming after the first journey. We're going to discuss, like I mentioned, field one and field two barriers. Then we're going to talk about overcoming those barriers. Uh, we're going to discuss that. And then um, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take a time of personal reflection and prayer, which I'm going to walk through all of this. So coming off of uh, field one, uh, four fields, discovery. Uh, of that journey, going through that and filling that out, then we're going to move into this. And so we've come out of that, and then we're going to write on the board this question. What um, are your current barriers or shortcuts to entering lostness? So you're going to write this on the board, and then we're going to throw this to each of the tables. So at each table, take about 10 minutes or so to discuss this question. And make sure there's somebody taking notes so they're recording what you guys are talking about in terms of barriers and shortcuts to entering into lostness. And so what we found with this um, uh, module is you're going to have to give them a couple examples of uh, barriers and shortcuts to kind of prime the pump and get them thinking. So example of entering lostness, uh, one is just fear. Um, uh, I just, I'm, I, I'm having anxiety. I'm timid. Um, or I have no strategy. Uh, or, or something like that. Uh, my calendar's filled up. I just don't have time. So that would be more of a, a, a barrier, um, a shortcut. And this can be used in probably several others. The attractional approach. Well, the church attracts people. I don't I don't have to go in lostness. Lostness comes to us. So, or whatever that may be. Um, so spend about 10 minutes, each group, each table, discussing this question. Okay. And so while they're doing that and they're discussing, you're going to go get a sheet, uh, a large tear sheet. And you're going to go put it on the board or on the wall or whatever at, at some point. And you're going to come back about 10 minutes. All right. And on that tear sheet, you're going to write up there barriers and shortcuts, field one entry or, or vice versa, whatever works better. And so you bring everybody back about 10 minutes and you go, OK. What did you guys discuss in terms of current barriers in your life or shortcuts that are preventing you from entering lostness on a regular basis? And so you're going to listen and you're going to get someone from one of the groups to be the scribe and they're writing all the answers on the tear sheet. OK, so there's a big tear sheet. All right. And that should take um, it, depending on the conversation, it could take several minutes uh, or it could be quick. I don't know. I've seen it go very long. So you're doing that in a large group. And then we want to transition to this question. Once you've asked that question, give me the top three of all the barriers or shortcuts that came out of the, the several groups. What's the top three? So we're doing this as a large group. What are the top three? And just circle those top three th obstacles that we are identifying as barriers or shortcuts. And then once those are identified as a group, as a large group, how do we overcome these barriers? And that might be another sheet of paper uh, that you're, someone's taking notes. How do we begin to overcome these, these real barriers uh, to, to entering into lostness on a regular basis? And so once you're done with that, then um, what you're going to do at this point is um, you're going to ask them to get this sheet back out. And what we want to do is we want to turn it over. And this is what I want you to do. I want to put you a line down the middle and a line right here. And I want you to put field one entry. What's the basically 
what's my personal barrier, right? To entering lostness. What are, what are my, it's comfort, it's calendar. I don't have a schedule. I don't know. I don't understand. I, I just, whatever. What's my personal barrier to entering lostness on a current basis? The second question, so they have to answer the second question, is my personal action step to overcome that barrier. And I want them to write in here, okay? Take a, you know, fill this out. And then once the group is done, I want the, as a group, each person to go and pray through their barrier and their potential next action step to overcome that barrier as a group. All right. So just by way of review, we come out of this assignment, journey one discovery, and we're going to do three things. Um, can you zoom in there? We're going to discuss field one, two barriers. We're going to talk about overcoming those barriers. And then we're going to take a time of personal reflection and prayer. And we just go real quickly through this. This should take, you know, not quickly, but several minutes to do that. So that is for field one. All right. Makes sense. So with field two, we're going to do. So once they're done with that prayer, you're like, all right. Now you're going to go back to the, you're, while they're praying, you're back to the board. You race it, put field two at the top and you put this question. What are your current barriers or shortcuts to sharing the gospel. Now, those might sound like two similar questions, but they're really not. A lot of times we can enter into losses, but what are the barriers to me getting to explaining the gospel to people? And again, we're going to have to prime the pump. An example, uh, I don't know how to share the gospel. Um, a shortcut could be a track, a church invite. I never get to the gospel. Uh, another uh, obstacle could be I have to build a relationship with them. I don't know what it is. All right. So 10, 10, 15 minutes with that, right? Same thing. We bring them back. We have a group discussion. What did you learn? Right? The, the tables come back. We discuss what we learned. And then, um, I'm sorry, we, we that's a group discussion. We come back and discuss what we learned. We record it. Uh, someone's writing that again. You're going to have a tear sheet that's going to have a field two barriers and shortcuts at the top. And we're going to just, we're basically, we're replicating um, shortcuts. <laughs> what we did with field one. And we record what's the top three barriers. How do we overcome those barriers? And then you're flipping the sheet over. And you're doing field two. My personal barrier to field two, which is sharing the gospel. Personal. Mine, my personal action step to overcome that barrier. We want to make it personal when it's always somebody else it's the church's job nothing ever gets accomplished and then we're going to pray again as a team for that all right so that's basically what we're going to do following the field one to, uh and we're going to actually do this with with uh field two and three um which will be the next day so if you have any questions do not hesitate to call me or email me so that's what we're going to do at following the uh, journeys. I cannot bring my video back up, but I think you can trust it's for whatever reason, it does not want to go back to my other camera. So I'm going to stop the recording. Have a good day. It's um, all righty. Bear with me. For some reason it's not. Let's see.